athlete who was stronger at the finish. Now the men's 500 metres juniors. We have Cuba, Lithuania, Spain. Like the, the Czech, they've had very strong mm -hmm. SIBO paddlers over the years. So we're underway in this C1 men's 500 metres. That is your favourite, the Georgian, the current world champion. And he will go out pretty strong. You can guarantee it in lane uh, four at the moment. It looks like the Moldovan who's gone out the hardest. And alongside him from Spain, Grigelba. He's going stroke for stroke with the Moldovan. The Georgian European uh, world champion is on the inside. And across here, it's the Polish paddler as well, Zaretsin, who is out early to uh, vie for the early lead. But it's the athlete from Moldova, Kolchak, who has the current lead right next to him, breathing down his neck. It's Grigelba from Spain. They are your front two runners. The world champion Zavadzi is sitting back in third. The Cuban in lane one also coming through to uh, have a prominent role. But at the moment, it's the Moldovan Kolchak who holds the lead. Sitting there, biding his time on his inside is Daniel Grigelba from Spain. So it's Moldova first, Spain second. I think at this stage, the world champion from Georgia is third, but he's coming through now. Now the Georgian makes his move. It's the Moldovan Kolchak in front. Grigelba from Spain is second. Zivadzi from Georgia is trying to chase them both down. The Moldovan is in front. It's Spain second. Now the Georgian starts to get serious. He really is putting in some hard yards now as he tries to pin these front two runners back. It's the Moldovan holding on like grim death. The Spaniard is also flying home. The Moldovan looks like he's struggling a little bit. The Georgian is flying home as well. So it's Spain from Moldova and Georgia at the moment. Maybe the paddler from Georgia is now in front. He is coming home the strongest. He's already a world champion from last year and I think he's done it again just from the Spaniard and the Moldovan fading for third. But I think there is your world champion just by a bee's whisker. Yeah, that Jennifer was hard Regan. to tell on that line because they both lunged and ooh, I think I, it's it's insane. He's gold, so yeah, he must have won it. Well, I, I put my neck on the line. I called it for him, but I, when I saw the, when I saw the finish, I thought, oh, maybe it was a bit closer than I thought. But I, I thought he just got there, not by much, but um, he really flew home over the last. 150 meters. We'll see when we see the, the final replays where they cross the finish line. The Moldovan, who led for most of the race, faded at the end, couldn't hold on as the Spaniard, who had been biding his time on the, the outside of the Moldovan. Here we go, we get to the finish line. It looks like yeah, the athlete from Georgia just gets there. Ooh, that was close. It was very, very close, but uh, Moldova, I mean, uh, Georgia has its first gold medal of the week. And, well, he's backed up his form from last year, world champion last year. Spaniard thought he had it, but uh, he has been pipped on the line. Not by much. Let's have a look. We'll have a look at the official margins in just a moment. And I think uh, Kolchek from Moldova finished with a bronze. There we are. Point 0.1 of a second is the distance between Alexander Sitsevads and Daniel Grigelba from Spain and Kolchak from Moldova holding on for third, Poland fourth and Hungary fifth.